The PlayStation 5 Pro is the biggest scam in gaming? Ubisoft bans men from projects as stock continues to collapse? IGN refuses to review Lollipop Chainsaw Repop? And Assassin's Creed Shadow's latest trailer under fire for moonwalking horses. Welcome back to Fan TV, where we love to dissect the latest video game disasters in this woke video game industry while enjoying some slice of life moments from nerd culture. I am your host, Ergal, and without further ado, PlayStation just announced the brand new PS5 Pro, but you won't believe how much they're charging for it. Sony says that the focus on the Pro is to make every game run at 60 FPS on fidelity mode. I like the sound of that. The improvements include a 67% larger GPU, 28% faster memory, 45% faster rendering on gameplay, so far so great, a focus on advanced ray tracing, and AI upscaling for sharper images. But at what cost? $700. Crack is cheap. Sony has officially entered their Apple phase, whereby they can charge whatever price they want and still get away with it. Charging $700 for a console with no value proposition is insane. The only reason as to why the PS5 is still sucking air to this day is because of backwards compatibility. If not for backwards compatibility, the PS5 would have been dishonorably discharged and relegated to the deepest, darkest annals of history. The PS5 Pro is a bad omen, warning us of what is to come. People should start preparing themselves for an 800 to 90 $900 price tag when the PS6 arrives. And of course, it will be all digital in order to reinforce the corrosion of video game preservation. And that's a fact. Location. Hardpoint identified. The swung his body to the side. And that's how my shit was open. And he hit me. Boom, bow. Soft LinkedIn. Oh, here we go. Discover, develop at Ubisoft. This exciting program provides mentorship opportunities for women and non-binary individuals. For the early stages of their gaming industry journey, offering tracks for game design and programming. It's very shocking to me that companies can do this because I mean I don't see how I don't see how doing this isn't discrimination. Several comments also pointed out how the eligibility criteria only require you to identify as a woman or as a non-binary individual. So not only is it peak discrimination, but also peak retardation. I hope the world can see now what's really going on out here. Because it's getting ridiculous. How is it not? discriminate it's definitionally discrimination but it seems like it just keeps happening i don't know why is this legal yeah i wonder why it's amazing i hope that one day people will wake up and realize that doing things like this actually does more harm than good but the most important thing is that ubisoft looks like they care about women and people in lgbtq that's the important thing about this but uh hey if the next game doesn't go very well i think we could be seeing a very different ubisoft uh very soon a wise man once said, never interrupt your enemy when he is making a mistake. I say let Ubisoft panda, let them discriminate, let them virtue signal to their heart's content. We will see who will win this battle of attrition. Will it be the fans or will it be Ubisoft? Let us see which one of us will hit bankruptcy first. I love the game. I love the hustle, man. So we have Manga Lawyer here. He says, IGN is unwilling to review Lollipop Chainsaw Repop, probably because it might trigger some of the they them staff. Instead, they published an article announcing the launch, but reminded the audience that they gave the game a five out of 10, which is unfair. <laughs> God. Right, so they said here on their article, Lollipop Chainsaw Repop is a remake of the original Lollipop. I'm pretty sure it's more of a remaster than a remake. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, is Which follows the high school cheerleader and zombie hunter descendant, Juliet, Juliet Starling, as she fights through the apocalypse with her boyfriend's severed head at her side. Repop is a definitive version of the game, which leaves the story unchanged with the focus on quality of life improvements and additional gameplay content. 
the game picked up a cult following, but in our 5 out of 10 review, IGN said Lollipop Chainsaw doesn't even attempt to differentiate itself from the genre. And most of what it does try... Uh, does try new in the realm of its characters and writing ultimately ends up taking away from an incredible on paper action game. I've always said that if IGN is going out of their way to criticize a video game, nine times out of ten it has nothing to do with the actual video game itself, but most likely the video game probably doesn't align with their political beliefs. The type of hypocrisy that IGN exhibits is the kind that lacks self-awareness, which makes it ten times worse. These idiots are the same people that reviewed Sleeping Dogs the Definitive Edition, and they themselves said that it's a good dog but no new tricks. <laughs> When Sleeping Dogs launched back in 2012, I called it one of the biggest and most pleasant surprises of that year. Now, over two years later, we're greeted with a new gen port called Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. It doesn't do a whole lot to make Sleeping Dogs a better game, but the good news is that Sleeping Dogs didn't necessarily need a whole lot of help to begin with. It's still as great as it was the first time around. I'm not upset with y'all because I know you're mentally ill. And now for some reason they can't offer that same courtesy to Lollipop Chainsaw. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. Enemies ahead. Enemies ahead. Enemies ahead. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Someone has been here. Someone has been here. Someone has been here. Was there anything in that drop? Nah, it's empty already. But he can't have gotten far. I reckon we're pretty safe. Hang on, let me just check. We should be, we should be sweet from the south because it's Oceanside. Yeah, yeah, hard out. Hold on, pause. It's got that ridge to protect us. Yeah, because I saw a team over there. Why are you gay? Yeah. But they must have gone there. Yeah, there's a lot of gunfire, so maybe we got taken out. Okay, well maybe we got that ridge and use it for cover. We should go now. All right, let's go. It's time to play the game. Time to play the game! <laughs> Come on, man! That's too easy! What we're seeing here is the fall off of the century. Assassin's Creed put out a trailer. Uh, this is really, uh, I hope that, um, I hope the investors see this. After four hours of this trailer being released, it only has 91,000 views. <laughs> This game's got grass on it. I'm not sure horses are supposed to move like that. How much is this game again? You know, they say the best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. Well, I'm about to make a prediction. When Assassin's Creed Shadows drops later this year, it's going to be picked up by outlets like IGN, PC Gamer, and the like, and they're gonna write stunning reviews about the game. The best thing since sliced bread. However, the game will have a lot of glitches and bugs. Some of them may even be game-breaking. And then finally, the game may end up leading to the foreclosure of Ubisoft Studios as we know it. That's my prediction. That's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. 